you're going to be working in a 3D file in MicroStation, you're going to need to feel comfortable and work with AccuDraw. It makes it so much easier to do if you understand and use AccuDraw. So this video is going to focus on five different shortcuts. And this is going to control basically the orientation of the AccuDraw compass. Now the view that I'm in is currently in illustration mode. AccuDraw works no matter what, but I'm going to switch this to wireframe and do shift right click. You're going to see my options over here. I'm going to go to wireframe. This will help AccuDraw compass to be more visible during the video. At the bottom of my screen, I have the AccuDraw window docked at the bottom. This is by default here at Caltrans. I'm going to undock it only because I want to be able to have you see what's happening. And having it docked at the bottom works the same, but it's not as obvious what's occurring. The first thing we're going to do, so we're going to look at the AccuDraw compass and how to work with it. I'm going to be in the Place Smart Line tool, and I'm going to start a line at the top of the vault here by doing a data, left click. You're going to see the AccuDraw compass appear on the screen. The AccuDraw compass currently is in rectangular, X and Y. We also can switch that to polar mode by hitting the letter M. If I do that, you're going to see that it changes to a circle. And you can see the AccuDraw window displays now distance and angle along with the Z value. If I hit the letter M again, it's going to change back. So we're going to be staying in rectangular, X and Y. The compass's orientation right now is flat to the view because your view has an X and a Y. And the AccuDraw compass, the green tick mark, that represents the AccuDraw compass's positive Y. And the red tick mark is the AccuDraw compass's positive X. Right now it's flat to the screen. The first shortcut we're going to talk about is rotating the AccuDraw compass to the design file's top. So I hit the letter T, T for top. You'll notice the compass rotates, and now the green tick mark is pointing to the design file's positive Y, which is true north, and then the red tick mark is pointing to the right and down. That's the design file's positive X. If you are going to work in AccuDraw, understand that if I'm going to draw a line or copy or move, things like that, the majority of the time, you're going to be working planar to the AccuDraw compass, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate. So if I wanted to draw a line straight up, moving my cursor up may appear as if I'm going in the Z direction, but I'm still planar and flat to the AccuDraw compass. If I wanted to draw a line straight up, which is what I want to do, I need to rotate the AccuDraw compass so that it is planar so that one of the axes is going straight up. Whether it's X or Y doesn't matter. In this case, there's two shortcuts I can use. The letter S, S for side. That rotates the compass to the design files side. Or F for front. That rotates it to the design files front. Now we are working in a 3D file, obviously. A 3D file is essentially a cube. It's a volume. And it has an absolute top, a front, and a side. And that's what the compass is orienting to. The objects you're seeing, this vault, happens to be drawn planar to the top and front and side, just for convenience and demonstration. So if I wanted to draw a line straight up, I would rotate the compass, F or S would work. I then type in my distance. I want to go two feet. I'm going to do a data. You notice the compass rotates, which is normal. You'll see my positive Y now is going to the left and positive X is going up. I want to now draw a line that is planar to the top. So I'd hit T for top. You can see the compass rotates. I'm going to be drawing a line on the positive X axis for the AccuDraw compass, which also is the design file at this point. I'm going to be drawing a line, and I'm going to be going along the X axis for the AccuDraw compass. The end point of my line, I want that to be defined by this point down here. Now, if I just move my cursor to this point, as I mentioned before, you, you're always working planar to the compass. But if I pick a point that is lower or off the Z plane for the compass, it will go straight to that point and not remain planar. So if I do a data and I rotate my view, you can see that the end of the line went directly to the corner of that slab. So if I do an undo and I hit top again, we're now going to employ 
Smart Lock, which is the Enter key. That's another AccuDraw shortcut. So with my cursor, I'm going to rotate my view a little bit. With my cursor out anywhere in this direction, near this axis, if I hit the Enter key, it locks me on the axis. If I hit Enter again, it unlocks. Enter or Smart Lock is a toggle. Now, when I hit Enter again, what I want you to notice is on the AccuDraw window, there's going to be two of the three axes locked. When I hit Enter, here I go. You're going to notice that the Y is locked and the Z is locked. Now, if I move my cursor to the corner this time, because I've locked myself mostly on the Z axis is what we're focusing on, you're going to see these dotted lines, which is going to tell me the relationship between the end of the line, proposed end, and the corner of the object. So you can see the dotted lines as they represent that distance. So I'm going to do a data and a reset. So that's placing a line, rotating the compass around. I'm going to go ahead and do an undo. I'm going to rotate my view a little bit so you can see that if I rotate to more of a front view, you'll notice that the green object, that's a slab, is actually lower than the top of the vault. I want to use the Move Element tool to move this green slab so that this point right here in the, the face of this slab is planar with the top of our vault. So I'm going to go to the Move Element tool. I'm going to select the point that I want to move it by. and This is going to be the corner. I'm going to do a data. You again see the AccuDraw compass appear. It right now is in the top orientation. So I'm going to hit F for front. You can see it rotates around. I could have again hit S for side. Now with it rotated, again, you're always moving planar to the AccuDraw compass. I move my cursor up, employing Smart Lock again. I hit Enter. I'm now locked on that axis. I can now pick this point on the top of the vault to define the height that I'm moving it straight up. You can see the dotted lines. It gives me visual confirmation of where it's going to. I can then do a data. Now, if I rotate my view around, you're going to see that those two are planar to each other. So that's working with the AccuDraw compass, and that was T for top, V for view, S for side, F for front. We also looked at the Enter key, which is called Smart Lock, which allows us to lock on that compass. So we're going to be exploring more AccuDraw shortcuts in the following videos.